look. So I thank you, Lord, for another day. Gave me another way, another chance to wake my eyes and get up and pray. And thank the Lord that I was on his mind this morning. That's so amazing. You never cease to amaze me. It's crazy. I was lost in sin. I've been a daisy. But I knew it all. I'm a new creation. And now I know that. But I need you forever. It's not a show, God. Like I said, it's your spirit that I'm needing. It's your spirit that is leading me to do everything that I need to. So, you guys are back for another vlog. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just get started with it. So, um, with this topic, this is something that, like, growing up, you know, post, post kind of the 70s and, well, the very, like, hard racism and kind of growing into a more era of still racism but just not as blatant as different different uh water fountains and different bathrooms and se separation um <clears throat> i didn't really notice i was i guess i didn't really probably notice i was black until like six years old and i remember vividly like saying that i don't want to be black and i'm i'm not really sure why um but Growing up, my mom kind of took me out of the, the the neighborhood that we were in, and we moved to a more moved to a more uh, less black people kind of neighborhood. And we went to I went to a school pretty much from fourth grade to like seventh grade, where you know there wasn't too many black people. There were still black people, but um, so I got treated in a way. Sometimes I think that. Uh, people learn to be like, like I was like the only black kid. So I had this double code. I had this, and this is something I'm, I'm talking about on the channel now. So if you guys are kind of confused on why I'm talking about this, I just want to be more open and transparent on the channel and tell you guys about um, what it's like growing up. And then what it's like how for me growing up and just my faith and different things like that. So I kind of grew up with this double code with this, you know, I know how to act black, but I also know how to act white. And yeah, that, I'm not going to explain that because that's, yeah, that's just a whole nother thing. Um, that's very true. And I had this, you know, this code. And so whenever I would, uh, whenever I would go to school with the uh, majority white kids, you know, I would get small little racist jokes from them. Um, and of course, I didn't. I didn't really know why, um, but I, I started to act like them and talk like them because you know, if you don't have any people that you can really hang out with, um, that you guys are are knowing because of your race, um, I feel like it's just you're just gonna conform. So I started hanging out with them, talking with them, and really like, really start noticing that yo like. I'm just different from them just because of my race. I'm just different. And like I said, it wasn't outright racism, but I definitely got treated multiple times on, on just small little racist jokes. I'm so thankful to God that that's not something that made me spiteful towards, towards white people. Um, I just think that was the way that they were raised. And like I said, racism still hasn't died out in America. Um, but the topic of this video is to kind of explain to my brothers and sisters out there to and for those people that are black as well to know that um you know we're all made for a reason every single color every single person is made for a reason on this channel i want to be super open and transparent about that and i'm i can't ignore the fact that this is what god made me to be and i'm super thankful and super glad because it makes me so unique especially with music especially with music and like the the style of music that i make is very a lot of it is based on a lot of black culture um not necessarily the words the words don't have a color the words are biblical and they're truth um and they're from god but the style and stuff like that make like 1147 <clears throat> is a straight like neo soul and r&b track these different things that that are just naturally ingrained in me will start coming out in my channel so you guys will meet my dad too my dad is like he was once a little bit of 
very pro pro black pretty much just like he, he was at one point he was just saying like christianity is a white man's religion but you guys will meet my dad um it's been cool to kind of see him just like how god is just um drawing him and he's used my life and stuff like that to kind of open his eyes to who god is and how to uh, get a real close relationship with him by you know loving god and loving god's people so i'll leave that at that for now So recently we've been talking about um, with my birthday being on Friday, on the October 19th, um, some different places I could go to for my birthday. I kind of want to do something with bowling um, and kind of with like laser tag or something like that. But I think we're going to try to get that figured out today and then we'll see how that goes for Friday. I think I'm probably just going to post a vlog about it, but yeah, I'm about to be 21 years old which is super crazy to me because like it feels like life honestly went so fast like i remember being seven and i was like another seven years i'll be 14 and then i was 14 and it's like another seven years now i'm 21 and life honestly goes so fast but i'm super grateful to god at this point that i actually am not wasting my life anymore like i actually am living with jesus and I'm super thankful to hit, to what he's done in my life thus far. But um, I'm excited, man. I'm excited for where this channel is gonna go. I'm excited for this daily vlogging. I kind of want to explain the daily vlogging a bit more um, in another sense and uh, kind of get you guys on what I'm talking about with it. So guys, yesterday I got some wisdom from two YouTubers. Um, the first one being Gunther the Great, the second one being I Said By Me. I kind of got on a long phone call about, you know, YouTube and where this thing is going to go and how to how to basically, you know, be yourself on YouTube and be real and, you know, the the pros and cons of what you're going to face. So I was on a phone call with two different YouTubers. If you guys don't know them, I, I think you should go subscribe to their channels. But um, Gunther the Great is a person whose his uh, channel is mainly about dreadlocks and only dreadlocks and he focuses on the title and the thumbnail to draw people in. As said by me, is a person where his channel is pretty much about anything he wants. Um, mainly his filmmaking, his fatherhood, his family, his faith, and football. And those five things he can talk about in pretty much any way he wants to. And people know what to expect with his channel. With me, I'm starting off with this channel still pretty fresh. Um, I've made a lot of videos about God. I've made, I have my music on here. And this is something that, you know, I could really go in any direction, um, like God willing. But one of the greatest things, uh, you know, I got from both of them was, you know, you have to tr you have to uh, try things out to see if they work. And then you have to be yourself. And that's something that I definitely took to heart. And it was super encouraged by, by Cedric that he said that you know just just be you and be real and don't try to play god like don't try to work everything out for yourself like god has it and god and i believe god will bring about those people um who he wants me to speak to through youtube and that's that gave me a lot of peace that gave me a lot of like just at easiness because i was just like you know i don't have to try to work up um and try to make a specific uh base or whatever um and i can just like let god handle all the stuff that I don't understand, and that's uh, that's something that is is definitely is definitely going to be apparent on the channel. Like the main three pillars of my channel, I want is music, faith, and film. I want everything to go around that. Um, so if I'm film, if I'm doing a vlog, I want it to look really good. If if it's, if it's about faith, I want it to be super honest, super raw, and super from the heart, like of 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 Jesus um, and from a person that wants to know Jesus and with music I want to post my music and my music videos 
everything like that but i want it to all be connected i don't want my music video to feel like it's a separate video from my vlogs or my faith to be a separate video like i might talk about faith in a video like this um where it's talking about being black in america and talking about you know god made me this way like it's beautiful if you're mexican i want you to know that god really made you that way and some people might not understand this video and that's okay but i'm just making this video for those who who i feel like uh needs spoken for and um but yeah, this is the end of the video. Uh, if you guys did like it, definitely hit that thumbs up if you can. Let's see if we can get 100 likes on this video. Uh, comment something down below if you were, if anything in it, uh, just what you want to talk about it. I'm always open to hear you guys and I'm always checking the comments. So not always, because it's not always good to check the comments, but I'm definitely checking the comments because you guys show a lot of love and I want to show a lot of love back to you guys. And uh, definitely hit that subscribe button as well if you're not subscribed. 10K on the way and notification bells are always open. So feel free to hit that. You can be notified every time I upload a video. <sighs> yes, definitely do that. But thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Monto Fish. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.